Alright, so good morning everyone, welcome back to another day of Carpal Tunnel, that's right, today is a rare Sunday episode, it seems like these might not be so rare in the future, I feel like now that the moving process is all out the way, I'm usually a little bit free on a Sunday, at least until like midday, so hey, welcome back. Um, planning this episode was actually really hard. Like, I was sat here a minute ago just thinking, what am I actually going to do? Uh, so in the last episode, for those who don't know, we took down the Eater of Worlds. So we have a lot of things that we could possibly be doing. So let me list them out. Number one, Queen Bee. We could do Queen Bee, the queeniest of bees. We could also do Skeletron, maybe. Skeletron's great because we unlock... Uh, some new armor, so very, very exciting. But then also, we could be doing the Old Ones Army. So I've decided upon making an arena for the Old Ones Army, all right? <laughs> this will be the most thrilling episode you have ever seen. Uh, so, uh, just to talk about some things real quick before I forget, number one, Senex and Red. They now have their developer's versions of the Valve Steam Deck, and oh my god, it looks so cool. So, the first thing they did was they booted up Terraria, and they said it runs amazingly. They said what they want to do, though, is they want to, you know, spend a little bit of time optimizing the game a little bit more for the new controls on the Steam Deck. So, how cool is that? How sick is that? So, it's nice to know that with just, you know, a tiny little bit of inspiration, Terraria is never really finished. Like, how amazing is that? They're like, nah, we, we gotta make it sick on the Steam Deck. Uh, and then other than that, um, so, so this was a thing, right? So, do you remember on Friday I said, hey, I'm gonna really try and record a video for Saturday. That didn't happen. I got really, really busy. Uh, but it was a really good Friday. I, uh, I went out for a meal. Uh, we had Courtney's brother around. It was great. I had this, um... Oh, I had this cracking burger, and I'm really sorry for the vegetarians out there, because this is like, this is quite a lot of uh, meat consumption. It was like a, it was a, a beef burger, with then like a pulled pork on top of it. It had blue cheese and bacon. And do you know what? Honestly, I'm surprised I'm alive right now. <laughs> now that I've read that out, I'm like, oh my god, that is that's a that's a big fat meal right there. That's full of calories. Anyway, um. It's okay, right, it's everything I want to say. Right, I'm going to crack on with the building of the arena, all right? Please, please, try not to have too good of a time today, all right? <laughs> Just, you know, don't <laughs> don't take this episode for granted, you know, because because there might be good episodes other than this, I don't know. Um, but like I say, this will be the most thrilling thing you ever see from me, is the, the building of the, the arena. Okay, right, I was going to cut away, but now I want to chat again. <laughs> I am legitimately excited for the Old Ones army. Um, honestly, because I think it's fun to just do everything Terraria has to offer, but only some of the time, all right? I don't always get the urge for this, so when I do, I'm like, I really get the urge. Like, it's not very often that you'll see me mining out a whole desert just to, uh, just to do one thing. But the good thing about this, I was trying to think about where to build it. And I think the desert is it's honestly probably just the best spot. Because when you flatten out the desert, it doesn't really look too bad. Like, if you flatten out the forest, it looks kind of um, looks kind of sad, to be honest. Because you've got to cut down all the trees and all that. It looks a little bit barren. Oh, yeah. So, uh, just another little update on stuff. Look at me. This is the thing about a Rare Sunday episode. I have the whole weekend to build up a collection of tales. And then I, like, want to chat about them. Uh, I ordered a, a new TV for my office. I'm so pumped about it, right? Get this, 65 inch, right? It's the biggest telly I've ever owned in my life. <laughs> I tell you what, I wanted a 65 inch for my living room a couple of years ago, and Courtney was like, nah, too big, too big. So I settled on a 55, all right? And ever since then, I've looked at it with, with real shame. <laughs> but I'm really excited about it. So it's the last bit of furniture I actually wanted to get for the room to make it complete. Uh, so that does mean that the, the little office... I'm going to start off an office tour first, and then maybe I'll delve into a house tour or something like that. I don't know. But it's almost ready. It's almost ready to be filmed. So I'm really glad about that. I still need curtains. That's a really good point. I'm using the old curtains from my old house, and they were tragic. I don't know why. I just never thought to replace them, even in the old house. And they didn't look that great either. All right? You get lazy when you get settled. Okay, right. 
<laughs> I'm thinking, James, cut away, because this is just digging sand. But then I'm also thinking, this is the most thrilling episode people have ever seen. And if I did cut away, you know, they'd be missing out on that, on that intense action of Terraria. And then who am I to deprive people of, of such a thing? So how are we all enjoying our weekends? Hope it's going well. Yeah, today um, there's a little food market in the in the centre today. So um, so Court's gone horse riding as she she does on a Sunday, and then afterwards we're just gonna we're just gonna go to that. So it's gonna be nice. But that's why I've got like a little bit of free time today. Oh yeah. So another thing. I no. I, oh my god. I've just got loads of stories. I've got I've got two more little tales from the weekend that I want to chat about. Okay. Right. This is good because we're almost at the old ones army. And then we can we can use that old one's army to chat about these tales. Yeah, it just seems like the weekend is like always the best time <laughs> for me to for me to build up my collection of stories. Because what is Chippy's Couch other than a collection of stories? You know what I mean? That's how I see it. You know, it's just one big it's just one big novel, and um, and the author is me, and its review on Goodreads is low to medium, unfortunately. All right. Um, you know, people reviewed it and said, you know, I really like the intense sand episode, but, you know, the other ones uh, fail in comparison. And, I, you know, it, it's reviews like that where you're just like, come on, man. Come on, I put my heart and soul into this, uh, this Terrari Let's Play. Come on, it can't all be about the sand, eh? Alright? <laughs> with its, with its grain so, uh, coarse and... I can't remember the Star Wars quote. Alright. Okay. Is that... Do you think that's done? Do you think? Do you reckon that's enough for an old one's army? The thing about the old one's army is it's a little bit deceiving, to be honest, because of the fact that you can have multiple levels to the old one's army. So for those who don't know this, I haven't known this for years. All right, so wiki gang rise up, but um, or lack of wiki gang, <laughs> illiterate gang rise up. All right, so the thing about the old one's army is, depending on the size of the arena, it will change where the portals spawn in, and I believe there's like three different levels to it. So if you do have a small arena, it should still work. But to get the real full advantage of the Old One's army, you want to build the biggest arena possible. Because you get more space before you hit the crystal in the middle. And it doesn't actually affect anything. Like, it's really good for the game, weirdly, to just make a bigger... Do you know what, do you know what I'm saying? It's hard to, hard to explain, but yeah. Terraria is like, nah, no, no punishment for a big arena. Punishment of, of death, maybe, for a small one. Let's have a little look at this, then. Oh my god, vultures, please. So the good thing about this is we will be using um, our new clicker. The meteorite clicker, which we got in the last episode, which is very cool. Do I... I, I tell you what I'll do for the Oasis. Because I was about to just um, slap a bunch of sand over it. Nah. Alright? Not in this intense episode. Instead, we're going platforms. And unfortunately, we do kill the reeds with that. But it's um, it's well spent. It's well spent. Are those the reeds that you can use to make paper in the Egyptian days? Wiki gang? <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> Oh, okay. All right. So let's go speak to um to the tavern keep then, and let's go find out. Um, well, we need to we need to just buy some stuff essentially. So the plan with this is, um, for those who didn't see the last episode, the plan is that we are going to be using summons with the clicker class, and I genuinely believe that in master mode, because we've had problems in master mode with this, we have. I think we would perish if we did not do this. So we've got to we've got to treat it right. So what we're going to do is, uh, I'm going to move the, let's move the paint around. <laughs> All right. I'm going to move the, the, the tavern keep himself, Ted the tavern keep, and then I'm going to head to bed. All right. I'm going to have a little bit of a snooze, a little bit of a relax. All right. Head to pillow. And then we're going to wait for the tavern keeper to pop back in. I'm going to buy the necessary stuff, like the weapon, for example, buy the crystal and all that. And then we'll jump into the old one's army. All right. Let's do it. Right, so I was going to do a, a full jump cut here, but I can see these tiny little glowing worms, and I think they look adorable. So, uh, let's move the merchant in, and because they look so great, we are about to kidnap them, okay? Are they going to despawn if I move away? Alright, where's the merchant at? Has he moved? No, okay. <laughs> we got to move a little bit further, alright. There you go, the merchant has moved in. Hey, and they're still around, alright. Cool, cool. So, you know how I said I want to do a little bit of fishing in this Let's Play? Um, you know, this is a part of it. Oh, yeah, forget that he sells the, the cookie. Oh, my God. So, it catches me by surprise. It does. I still haven't had a, a cookie since the uh, the start of the episode. Start of the Let's Play, rather. But I, I think about it. I do. 
Every time I'm in the supermarket, I'm like, oh, I could just buy one right now. But I'm trying to be careful. I'm trying to... I know I mentioned that really extravagant, beefy burger, but I am trying to watch myself a little bit, you know. And only because I've been on a, a bit of a health kick, as you all know, you know, doing some running, doing some weights and stuff. And I've kept up with that. It's been, um, well, it'll be a week on Monday that I, like, really start getting into the swing of it. Or maybe, yeah, about that, yeah. Um, so I've been, I've been trying to, trying to stay on it. Like, after this, I'm going to go for a run. It's going to be very exciting. Right, okay. Um, so hopefully, uh, Ted has moved in. Ted, can we get a holler? Ted doesn't talk, all right? <laughs> he can't, unfortunately. Um, for his eyebrows don't allow it. Um, okay, so what I... I'm always so funny with this, right? Because I always want to get the blister on. And people go, nah, it's the flame burst you need. So I'm going to listen to people. And now I've done that, I know full well people will be like, nah, James, it's the, um, you need the blister rod. And I'll be like, no, <laughs> please. Okay, right. So let's give this a bit of a go then. So we're going to go iron skin, regen, um, thorns. Yeah, sure. Why not? We can, uh, we can allow it. We can afford it. Right. So let's dump that in there. Um, and then, I hey, do you know what I forgot? <laughs> forgot to buy the old one's army stuff. All right. Never again. Okay. So we need the crystal. And we need two of these bad boys. Uh, crystal stand, sorry. All right, okay, it's a brand new day. So my two stories are this. Number one, I think by now a lot of you probably know that I'm a cat person. All right, if you've ever seen one of my live streams, I'm usually wearing some sort of clothing with a cat on it. All right, I really do like cats. I didn't realize this until I was later in life, but I do. I like cats. What can I say? Um, but anyway, so I've never, I've never had a cat. And I've got no interest in having a cat. Because I can't be bothered, right, with the maintenance. I, I want a dog. To, to be truthful, I want a dog. Anyway, um, so I, I was a little bit sad moving out of my old house. Mainly because my neighbor's cat would often just stroll into my house. And she'd stroll in. She'd chill about for like 10, 20 minutes, sometimes an hour. And then she'd leave and crack on with the rest of the day. And this happened like maybe once or twice a week. And it was the bomb.com. It was so nice. Like, I really enjoyed it. It was like having a cat but not actually having to have a cat. It was great, right? Really good stuff. Anyway, um, so I was a little bit good moving and not having that. And then last night, uh, sorry, not last night, the night I got back from the meal, um, we were all roasting. Cause it's been still really hot in Britain. So we were like, let's uh, let's go sit outside for a little bit. And as I opened the back door, a cat walked in. For real, a cat just walked in. Like, I opened it and it walked in like it was its house. And I was just like, what is going on here? What even is this? And that was it. And that's my tale. Um, the fact that there's now a, a cat in the area that really likes me for some reason. I don't know. But I just find it funny that this is just my life at this point. Like, I'm always getting um, cat calls, basically, from cats. I don't know. Cat calls probably not the right word. Right. Um, okay. So, looking at this, I think we're, we're going to struggle with this. I think we should almost abandon the intense episode. Unless. Unless. Nah. Yeah, we've, we've, I, I think, honestly, we have no chance. I just don't think the uh, the weapon is strong enough, really, to, to make this work. I'm just going to grab these real quick. Thank you. Cheers. All right, maybe with some, some extra mounts and stuff, it might do something. But I just think, for now, it's probably not the best. All right, I'm going to click away. I'm going to click to my arts content. I'm going to butterfly click and all that. So I'm going to do all that. Oh, everybody keeps asking if I'll use an auto-clicker at some point. Yeah, at the end of the series, we'll use, uh, we'll use an auto-clicker and just have some fun. But I won't do it until then. Um, right, I'm going to click to my arts content and just see how far I can get through this. Oh, my God. I tell you what, when you um, when you actually get to see these early phases, you get to see just how much like detail went into all the little sprites. It's so cute. Like that little, that little goblin bomber or whatever. I've never noticed him before, like ever. But he looks great. He looks awesome. Okay, so we got potentially... Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, all right. We, we, we've scoffed this. We've absolutely scoffed this. I was going to jump cut away, but apparently not. I want to try this. I genuinely want to try this again, though. Yeah, we've we got no chance here, unfortunately. Ah, well. So I tell you what, with, a, with an actual setup, it does get a little bit easier, admittedly. So maybe that is the, maybe that is the trick. I cover one side, and then the, the turrets cover the other. That could be a thing. Because when it's like this, it's not too bad. Obviously, I lost a lot of health because I didn't manage to kind of sort it out in phase two. But if I could get it sorted in phase two, 
I might be able to go into phase four and five with a lot more health. But I don't know though. This is only phase three. There is still, there's still like I don't know, a lot more, a lot more to go. Oh no, here we go. See, look at this. Not made it through this side. All right. Tell you what, let me grab those. Do one more that side. All right. Let's see if I can make it through. I don't think I can, but I do think I will on the refight. Ah, this is it. It's the flying ones. Yeah, the flying ones are going to be what uh, what kills us now. Let's see if the... Yeah, the flying ones managed to escape on this side. See, because they've managed to escape, that means I do have to maintain them myself. And that's where you, like, lose all your health, basically. But this side's popping. It's popping off on this side. Maybe... Yeah, I'm going to redo it, but I'm going to have all of them on my on one side and see if I can do that. Ah, uh, yeah, I've messed this up. <laughs> I've messed this up again. All right, maybe attempt number three will do it. <laughs> I've got no idea. Maybe, to be fair, what we might need to do is wait until we've done the, the goblin army at least. Maybe one thing I could do, though, is I could uh, swap out these movement accessories like this and this and put in uh, two, two clicker ones. So if I get the clicking glove and the soda can, if I get those two, maybe I'd be a little bit better. I'm going to try that out. I'm also going to make some more buffs because I feel like, yeah, it's going to get bad if I don't. Oh yeah, so before I forget, uh, I did say I had uh, two extra stories. Uh, the other one was simply that uh, that I managed to, to make time to go to, um, to my mom's house. And I picked up my uh, PewDiePie, Felix, Moonlord... Terraria figurine and it is incredible. It's so high quality. Like, don't get me wrong, it took months to get here because you know they're all on pre-order for a long time. Anyway, it's so nice. It was 19 quid, and it looks like it's about 50 quid. It's really nice, and I'm I'm serious, right? I ain't just saying that to say it because I don't I don't even know if you can buy them anymore. I don't know. I don't know how it works, but I am so happy with mine. I was so happy that I did a little photo shoot with it. And if you want to see the photo, it's on uh, Instagram and Twitter. Um, so, and they're usually linked down below, I think. I'm pretty sure they are. Anyway, it's it's all there if you want to, if you want to check it out anyway. Right, so I've managed to make it through uh, wave two without, uh, without perishing. So that's really where it started getting mad, wasn't it? Or was it wave, wave three we needed to get through? All right, but either way, it's going, it's going better. Um, so I'm just gonna keep on with this pace, like I say, just kind of maintaining one side and then letting the, the stuff do the other stuff on the other one, but then still running back, so like doing a big chunk like this, and then like, you know, running back, because it's still not, the turrets aren't still like perfect, perfect, do you know what I mean? Like I'm still gonna need a lot more, so like let's put one there for example, fight this a little bit back. The good thing is, when you come back to this side, these are all weak, so it does actually work out really well. Okay, like for example, that's the end of the wave now, and there should be on this side still some more that have spawned in. Yeah, okay, here we go. So now I've just got to quickly run through these. And with the fallen stars, it's honestly not so bad, is it? Like this is kind of doable. All right, let me make sure I've, yeah, picked, oh no, there's a crystal over there. That's always the words when you're like, all right, I've just got to run back because there's a crystal. All right, if I pick up one more crystal, I can have uh, two more on this side. So there should be, yeah, there you go. There's the extra crystal. Okay, so like I say, I'm gonna, my plan is, I don't know if I should center this, like just be around here for the flying ones. I think, yeah, there you go. The flying ones are in, okay. Can confirm, flying ones are here. Oh God. All right, this is it. This becomes the focus. You don't have too many of these. All right, so the plan is just to, to linger around here as much as possible. To see if I can see him spawning in. The good thing is with the fallen stars and stuff, they're not actually the worst thing in the world, are they? Oh no. Alright, I spoke too soon. Oh no. Come on, flying ones. Alright, so now, I think... Okay, now it's just a case of catching up with these. Alright, and not dying to these bloody spears. Okay, let me heal up. Okay. Alright, let's see. Can we even do this? No, <laughs> I think this might be impossible. Yeah, that's it. That's fine. Alright. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to come back then, either when we get a better clicker or we get better armor. But that was, that was interesting. That was, come on, that was good. What a very intense episode. I really enjoyed that. That was a, that was a fun little Sunday episode. So at least we know, like we've seen it now, we've been through the worst of it. 
So I think in tomorrow's episode, we'll be cracking on then with bosses instead. But I think the biggest thing we could do is get that goblin army because then we can start combining some of these accessories together and making some like real mega accessories and then go in from there. Uh, so that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please give today's episode a big fat thumbs up. Um, that's it, right? I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a great weekend. You know, enjoy the rest of it. I'm going to go enjoy some food in the city center. It's going to be lovely. All right. See you in the next one, guys. Peace.